man who fatally hit and killed a woman last October on Hawaii Island has pleaded guilty. 71-year-old Carlton Inada pleaded guilty to charges of negligent homicide in the hit-and-run case involving 79-year-old Barbara Klein in Hilo. This happened back in October again of last year as Klein peddled a rec recumbent bicycle. According to police records, Inada hit Klein, then left her on the road. He called police when he got home. Klein was a chief instructor at Aikido of Hilo, a seventh degree black belt. HPD is on the hunt for an arsonist after a fire at Mililani High School. Several rolls of artificial turf went up in flames at the softball field at about 4.30 yesterday morning. The school's vice principal, who did not want to go on camera, says the turf was just about to be installed. This would have been the, uh, you know, this would have been the new field that our girls would have been playing on coming back from our state championship. Um, it's just really sad, you know, and it really, it, it's really sickening that, you know, these individuals, uh, you know, did this so blatantly. About $120,000 of damage was caused there. Any tips? You're asked to call Crime Stoppers. The number on your screen, 955-8300. Military police have arrested the husband of an Eva Beach woman who was reported missing nearly three weeks ago. The Army says Private First Class Duane Johnson, the second is a military pre or the second is a, in a, pre a military pretrial confinement in Hawaii. His wife, 19-year-old Misha Johnson, was last seen July 31st at her home on Schofield Barracks. She's six months pregnant. Her family has been putting up flyers around the island. Johnson has not been charged. The military said, quote, our efforts remain focused on locating Misha. Family and friends of Zoe Hay have created a GoFundMe page for the McKinley High School grad who was found strangled in Seattle four days before her 26th birthday. Police charged her boyfriend Andy Chu with her murder. Her loved ones described her as always respectful, quiet, and extremely generous. You look for the link to help her family. We have that posted at hawaiinewsnow.com. And it could be from this first one lingering all the way through Tuesday. Now behind that, we have whatever's left of Tropical Storm Gilma. And we could still be a Tropical Storm by the time it comes here. It's expected to bring us another round of possibly severe weather, maybe Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Now behind that, we've got another system that has the potential to do the same. So it looks like three uh, things are lining up to bring us some severe weather. So now's the time over the next several days to prepare. Now, not everybody's going to get in on the weather. Some people will dodge those uh, very wet bullets, but uh, still, you should be prepared for severe weather, especially in this first one, Saturday and Sunday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.